good morning. Um, we just did our little workout yoga session. And hit workout. Oh, look, you can see also. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's now like 10, no, it's not 10, it's 11, 20, 11, 20 and we're going to have some breakfast. Um, I know it sounds really late, but we have been out for the past like three hours. Yeah. Like doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. And um, we had a really busy day yesterday, which was great. But um, yeah, we're gonna make breakfast and then um, plan our day. Um, I think we're gonna go to a conscious loss session at four thirty. And what was it about? Sus um, how sus uh, is it like sustainable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sustainability and future eco consumerism. Yeah, we'll go and do some like sightseeing today. So it should be cool. I'll keep you in the loop. Keep you in the loopy loop. Ta da! We've got a light I'll toasted rye bread okay. with avocado and tomato with a sprinkle of chilli and salt and uh, bananas for the after. Ugly egg. The ugly egg goes on side plate because my picture is not allowed an ugly egg. But I will eat this egg, so I'm not <laughs> Hey guys. Hey guys. We are all ready for the day. We've got our um, packed lunch here and we are off to the Jewish Museum. So excited about this. So excited, so, so, so good. Katie's been before. I've been before. Daniel, what's his name? The architect is called Daniel Lieb, Lieb Schner, something like that. Something um, German. But yeah, he's like super incredible and the architecture of the whole building is insane. I'm feeling super London Fashion Week. Check out my Hey, warmers, <laughs> eh? <laughs> uh, say London Fashion Week, Berlin Fashion Week, sorry. Berlin, you keep saying London to everyone, you're like, yeah, so we're here for London Fashion Week. Berlin Fashion Week. <laughs> um, cool, so we'll check in with you guys later. Bye. We just needed to record this moment, so the sun is out for the first time in the whole time we've been here. Uh, so we're like starting worshipping, and it's uh, bloody it's good. so glorious. Oh. Oh. I miss you, son. It is good. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for thy son. We had a lovely walk here. It was about a 30, 40 minute walk, wasn't it? Mm. But it was lovely. We just had a bit of a coffee and um, a bit of a snack. And we're going to now check it out. I'm so, so excited for this. So <laughs> pumped. And um, after then we're going to Conscious Loft. Which is all very exciting. So we will um, talk to you then. Bye. Is there something black in the middle of my nose? <laughs> Is that meant to happen? They poked you. I feel like this one is going to fall down on my face. What is this meant to resemble? Like, it's, oh yeah, it's, it's it is the eeriness. Yeah, that's what they said. Like the um, emptiness, sort of like after the explosions the and destruction. And yeah, this is. Wait, they're really giving the effect, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait for the other part. Guys, if you literally felt the heat, this is the most insane. Like, the temperature, like everything is the craziest eeriness I've ever felt in my life. Even like the sound. <gasps> This is called the Garden of Exile and it's in the Jewish Museum and it's 49 tall columns that like poke out of the ground and they've got Russian olive trees on the top. Yeah. Um, inside though, like they grow from inside. Yeah, inside the thing. And <laughs> what is it to commemorate? Um, them, um, the people who do escape and immigrate um, to oh, yeah. a new place. Um, yeah. But then it's, it states how, you know, even though they're happy that they've immigrated, it's still a very uncomfortable feeling and disorientated from yeah. imagine leaving your hometown to mm -hmm. go to a different place, like not knowing the language, not knowing the culture or anything. Um, so this is what it resembles. And the floor is also tilted, so it's like... Disorientation. Disorientating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? You have to walk on that. No way. Yeah. Then you get the sounds. I don't really want to walk on that. It feels like such a disrespectful thing to do. I oh, know, it's scary, isn't it? But I guess but that that's installation the installation was made really for you to walk on it. Um, are you sure? Yeah. How far can you go? 
Yeah, you can go all the way if you want. So guys, these spaces represent innocent lives that were lost. And I literally feel sick in my stomach how this second is. Do you think the little ones represent like young children? So guys, imagine every single one of these noises you hear represents life. So guys, we finished at the Jewish Museum. What did you think of it, G? I think it was really good. Like, honestly, really good. Unfortunately, two floors, um, were under renovation, so they cut off two floors. Yeah. It's a bit sad, but we're actually tight for time anyway, so it kind of yeah. works well. What was your favourite bit? Um, so the bit that you guys obviously just saw in the video previously, with 10,000 steel faces. It was probably the most disturbing bit, but I mean, it's good to realise like what's happened, what people have gone through, and um, just makes you yeah, reevaluate like your life. Yeah, a of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Hashtag we are blessed. Hashtag we are blessed. Blessed. Thank you. Hello. So we are in Conscious Loft now. We've just walked through, got ourselves some water. And this is the bathroom. It's where like they have a house though. Yeah, so they have, every room has like ethical alternatives for everything. So now we're in the bathroom. I we're going to show you around. Spotted. So there's this beautiful shower. We've all taken our shoes off because we're at home, of course. Okay, first of all, we have the organic cup, the bath, and then a sponge. That's quite cool. And guess what's over here, you guys? Brunch, brunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're in the um, bedroom, and there's all these makeup, vegan, sustainable. Eco friendly. Uh, this is called Rose Fall. It's Rose actually, Fall I think this will suit Katie's skin colour. The Beauty Archive. That colour just suits you so much. I don't Do know why you don't wear this colour. I just don't wear makeup. Yeah. Because it's brown. No, it's like a like a <laughs> maroony. Oh, well, see you guys. This is awesome. Like fashion, clothing, items, clothing, jewelry, and some lingerie. So, this company is called Nyx. So this is both, um, but like it honestly feels so luxurious. <laughs> Cute. They're all so lovely on them. Mm. The panel is about to start. I've got vegan chocolate cake. And my spoon is so much bigger than it can fit in my I mouth. I just poured this all over my campaign, which is supported by the UN. Um, we have Magdalena, who is um, the founder of Unite. And she also works with Fashion Revolution here. We have Lena who has an online show. So guys, I want to show you this because it's so cool. Condoms. They are condoms that are made ethically and sustainably. How amazing. This one's got a little mark on it. <laughs> Make magic happen. It's so great. There's one with Willie as well. Take the bath for. <laughs> They're just like such good, like funny Katie, presents as well. Katie, 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 it's a rocket. Oh, I know. Rocket. I just think, how crazy is that? <laughs> I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, this one's got rockets. Hey, so this is Antonio, and she is the founder of Conscious Loft. Um, so we are super... No, come there, it's better. Um, we are super excited to be here, and so grateful for you for giving us this opportunity. It's so crazy to be in a room with um, so many amazing brands who have done so well in their field. And, you know, we're so excited for the future, but thank you, honestly, so much for having us. And we just wanted to ask you, what is your favorite part about running Conscious Loft and the umbrella brand, which is Mockney? Mockney, Mockney. Okay, my favorite part is, um, like, 
and the idea was to connect everyone, like a, a diverse people, like uh, customers and um, experts and um, press and bloggers and everyone who's like um, doing their part. Yeah, like uh, not only experts but also people who have no idea about sustainability and ask questions and so um, it's kind of, uh, Conscious Love is kind of the uh, real life what Magni is about. So Magni is like um, on a magazine and so you can discover brands, you can learn. But, um, but this place is like you can discover it in real life, you can touch it, you can see it, you can feel it, like the, the fabrics and the colors. And so it's really uh, kind of sus more sustainable and shopping just online because you um, you really can see it and then um, get the experience. You don't ship it, like if it maybe it doesn't fit your style or whatever, mm -hmm. then um, yeah, you don't mm. need to send it back. So yeah. you just, you, you, you get closer to the brand kind of. Amazing. And um, so you, you can network with the community, which is great. And um, you can support each other because mm -hmm. all the small brands in one room is amazing. So the founders are here, here and there. And so, yeah, we created Cool. Yeah, um, Dude, it is yeah. awesome. Yeah. But yeah, guys, if you haven't, check out Mark Knee ASAP, and uh, hopefully, we'll see more yeah. Conscious Loft in the other fashion weeks. Hopefully, oh, yeah. they come to London. And uh, yeah. so, it's not, yeah, it's not, not only important, so I really would love to go to different cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Stay so tuned. See, make sure you go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. This is the end. Goodbye, conscious loft. Hello, real this is world. Take two. We already left the building. We're, yeah, we already left, and then I was like, "Damn, we don't end it." <laughs> we are freebie queens. Let we me are say. freebie queens. So we are back at the apartment now. Um, it was such a good night. We are on a complete high right now. Like, so we had no idea that we actually got invited by the founder and creative director of Moki. Mochne. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> um, and we like got to chat to her and like honestly so insane and um, we actually go by back to two sessions tomorrow yeah. which wasn't the plan but now it is. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just, oh, I'm so blessed. I don't know My arm's getting tired already. <laughs> so yeah, you would have seen like some video footage. Sustainable condoms guys. We already videoed that so yeah, you would have seen that. <laughs> And <laughs> you would have seen the um, the founder. Yes, we're going to go to two sessions tomorrow as well. So we'll take you guys along to that. Um, the first one we're going to is about um, menstruation. And sexual health. <laughs> and sexual health. But in so, an ethical way. Yeah, ethical, sustainable matter. And then the one after is to do with... Um, politics, like how to drive change in your government and things like that. So that should be really good for us, super like, inspiring. Too. Yeah, because I mean, we could just go to government and be like, hey, everyone should use plastic France, waste like, is a big thing. Just like France, so France banned plastic. <laughs> Single use plastic. France somewhere. banned plastic um, mm. a few months ago. Well, being plastic, covering plastic. So I mean, like, why don't we, as UK, we should definitely do it and ban plastic toothbrushes, forcing people just to use plastic. Yeah, so there we go. New so too, yeah, so, so we'll take you with us tomorrow, but for now, good night. So we just have some lentil soup and um, we're in this like little coffee shop. Um, it's now like 7pm and we have six hours, no, 12. <laughs> 12 hours until our flight. Um, so this place closes at like... 10 or 11 and then we're gonna basically make our way to the airport and try and find like a corner that we can nap in or something and get drunk okay. she's joking we're not getting drunk <laughs> although that would be a good idea because then we could sleep yeah. easily no but i'm trying to consecrate myself no no we're good <laughs> It's basically the cutest place ever. It's like a coffee shop, but you have dim lights and made it like the atmosphere like a little like romantic French restaurant. Like it's insane, you've got like candlelight, you've got really good food selection. Board games. Like, yeah, board games. It's so cute. And the guys are sweetest and the British one is upstairs just like And like you can get a beetroot salad for beetroot and kale for like two ninety. 
so so super worth your money. Um, so yeah, we just got some lentil soup, which is really nice. Uh, yeah.